no two applications present similar data in exactly the same way. So when you're integrating data from one app into another, it's always necessary to transform the data from one shape into another as it's being processed. In Flowgear, our visual data mapper, QuickMap, allows you to do this without having to write any code. Begin by adding QuickMap to the design canvas, and it's going to need an example or a schema for both the source and the target data. There are several ways that you can provide this. One is to provide input data as a preceding stage. For example, if I had something like a SQL query, I executed that query and then I injected the result XML into source, Flogia would now be able to infer the source schema and be able to present the source list of fields. It will be able to do the same thing on the target side as well. To give you a quicker demonstration, I'll just paste in some example payloads. So into the source property, I'm going to paste in an XML document containing sales order information. And into the result property, I could paste in a sample document of the type of order that I need to generate. But what I'll actually do is go into the schema property and paste an XML schema directly in there. So this is another way that you can provide sample data to Flowgear, either through actual payload data or through a schema. Now if we open up the mapping property, you'll see a list of fields on the left and a list of fields on the right hand side. And I can start to visually map across those. So for example, an order becomes an orders element on the right hand side. I'll map a few other header fields. So for example, customer ID becomes customer. And as I start to do this, it'll generate a payload of the output on the right hand side so that I can validate that the shape of the document is correct. QuickMap supports XML and JSON, and it can switch between those modes in any direction as well. I'm also going to map order date. And those are my header fields. Now I'll go and map some detail line fields for these sales orders. So first, the line container on the left-hand side maps to the stock line container on the right-hand side. And then I'll map some detail fields across as well. So I now have an example of a sales order. Here's the header information, and here are the three detail lines associated with that. So the mappings that you see in the second area are an easy way to correlate fields to each other, but oftentimes the contents of those fields actually needs to be manipulated as well. I'll show you some examples. Let's say, for instance, that we wanted to be able to exclude certain orders. For example, I have a particular customer over here, but further down I have a cash customer, and perhaps I have a different order processing mechanism for cash customers, and therefore I'd like to exclude them in this scenario. So I can go to Switch to Filter Expressions, I can take the customer ID and plug that into the order header, and then I can generate an expression that will allow me to exclude based on some criteria. You'll notice that the syntax for this is very similar to Microsoft Excel, so it's very intuitive to start to use. And now that I've done that, one of the orders, the cash order, has been excluded. Let's say that I wanted to correlate some data. For instance, I have a customer ID as part of my data source, but I don't have the contact name that that customer belongs to. And so I want to do a lookup, very much like an Excel VLOOKUP, that allows me to correlate a customer ID onto the contact person so I can address the order to that person. So in QuickMap, you can add any number of custom properties. I'm going to add one called contacts. And what we're going to do here is just hard code in a payload that relates customer and contact information. In a production workflow, what you could have done is queried that from a source system and then injected that contacts property. So I'll drill into the contacts property and I'll paste in this correlation information. Notice that we have a customer ID over here and then a contact name. And what we want to do is to be able to address the order to that contact person based on their customer ID. So now if I go back into QuickMap, I can grab the customer ID and plug that into the shipping instructions field. You'll notice that as it does that, it updates the shipping instructions field with the customer code. But now we can use that to execute a lookup. And notice that as I start to type, we get syntax for a lookup function that behaves very similarly to Microsoft Excel. So I want to perform a lookup of customer ID in a custom property that we injected called contacts. I want to look up a field called customer ID, and I want to resolve that to contact name. Now the shipping instructions is populated with the name of the contact person that's been derived by looking up the customer ID. You can also do basic things like string concatenation over here as well. So for example, I might want to say ship to, and then provide the name of that contact person. 
Another common scenario is the requirement to aggregate data. So let's say, for instance, that on these detail lines, I didn't want to duplicate a stock code. For instance, I've got stock code INV001 appearing twice in this first order. So I could go down to the header section and then tell Flowgear to aggregate by clicking the key icon on the stock code field. Now you can see that it's collected all of the fields together and it's duplicating fields where it's had to consolidate. Now I can apply an aggregator function to resolve that conflict. So I'll use a function called sum to sum together all the quantities and then I'll use the max function to obtain the highest price out of the list that was consolidated down. So using quick map is going to make it much easier to build your data transformations. That said, if you're coming from a traditional integration environment, we do also support things like XSL transforms and different types of scripts. So you can begin by forklifting your existing transformation assets directly into Flowgear.